Uh, these striper actually are running up in groups uh, two times in the year. And uh, today's video, I'm going to show you guys uh, where and exactly when uh, these striper are running up for spawning and for migration. So uh, stay tuned. We all know the striper spawning season and run starts early, early spring. Um, pretty much the beginning of March, somewhere around there is uh, when spring usually starts, just depending on the season. But as the water starts to warm up, these fish striper get really active and they, they swim up the river and uh, they start getting really aggressive and they start spawning. After a few years of being in the delta and in the ocean, they come upstream uh, mid-March, early to mid-March and uh, start spawning uh, all the way till June is when you'll see really, really thick numbers uh, in the Sacramento Delta to Sacramento River, all the way up to Calusa. Um, you'll be seeing really good striper uh, numbers. All right, guys, if you've never heard of the migration uh, run, uh, these striper have patterns of migration. And uh, so what they do is these striper they they start in the ocean san francisco bay and ocean um, around that area that's pretty much where they live and the delta um, the bays and the delta is their main home so every year they come up the river they come to spawn they do their thing they come back to the ocean and the delta um, around june-ish and then they hang out there in their little areas either if it's the ocean big ocean or it's just in they stay in the bay in the delta sometimes they do that but when it comes when the water starts to change they really run on temperature um, so the temperature starts to uh, cool down a little bit before it gets too cold and before the rains somewhere around early October usually is when the migration starts and you will have big striper coming up the system guys and I'm not talking about spawning. I'm talking about these these things are just migrating upstream and they're moving all the way up Sacramento River uh, just like they would when they're spawning. Um, so if you're wondering how how do you tell? How do you tell if, if it's time or when the striper coming, you just start catching them? Well, a telltale sign is when the striper are coming to the Sacramento River, um, normally you got to listen for it around October time, maybe a little before October. Uh, listen for people catching striper in the bay, in Sassoon Bay, in the San Francisco Bay. Um, once that bite starts picking up around then, then they start heading from that bay to Sassoon to the Delta. And then from the Delta, they make their way up to the river, guys. And the migration is super good to fish uh, for striper. I would recommend um, low light time for fishing for striper around migration uh, fall run is because these striper are very light sensitive uh so anytime they see light they they just book off so uh nighttime i've had really really good luck or early mornings uh don't get me wrong i've caught some massive striper in the middle of the day um so i'm just saying there's better chances at night or in the morning um but yeah uh stay tuned guys and i'll uh, keep you updated of when um, the striper migration run will be coming. Um, it's it's a sign once they start catching them in the Sassoon Bay, um, it's a real good sign they're coming up. But as of right now, the, the striper are pretty much headed out of uh, Sacramento River and you'll still get the locals here. You can still catch striper year round here in the Sac River, uh, just but the majority of them have moved back to the bay and in the ocean. So right now, uh, uh, San Pablo and San Francisco Bay are super hot right now for striper and halibut. Uh, but like I said, these these things are uh, they're just moving in patterns, guys. So um, we're just waiting for them to uh, come back into the system. Things that striper like to eat are sardines, anchovies, and lamprey eel. Um, lamprey eel is actually a native fish um, to the bottom of the water here, and. Uh, they, they feed on the lamprey eel, they love them, and sometimes the lamprey eel can actually bite them and uh, cause a little infection. But um, any, any infection the fish has, parasites or a tapeworm or anything like that, 
you cook it and you're good to eat as long as you cook it but if you do eat it raw you are at risk if it has the tapeworm or parasites anything like that you are at risk um, at getting getting something like that but as long as you cook it guys um, you're totally fine I've only caught one striper that had parasites and stuff on it and I released it so uh, it's pretty tattletale sign. Um, if there's parasites on it, you'll be able to see scabs and uh, bruises and stuff and red marks um, on the outside of the fish. And then sometimes if you don't, uh, once you cut it open, you'll see some spots and, and stuff on the meat um, if it's bad. But uh, like I said, uh, there's some people out there that, that showed to, uh, to eat these things and uh, supposedly they didn't have any harm, but I would definitely thoroughly cook it and it's proven that if you uh, thoroughly cook it, it kills it completely and it's totally harmless to humans. Definitely clearing up, it's it's dropping quite a bit here. I'm just showing you the clarity level uh, with my white worm here. It's a white tail with a black body. And right now, what you're looking at, it's about, I would say five inches deep or so. Um, and I'm just kind of bringing it up a little bit and dropping it down. So, so the clarity is definitely, definitely getting better go a little deeper here so there's about five inches six inches seven inches and it's kind of gone now I'm pulling it back up there it is about six seven inches right there guys so the clarity is picking up pretty good and uh, the water is uh, dropping just because it's heating up here we're getting some crazy temperatures getting like hundreds now um, pretty late here in the season so uh water's water's dropping a little late but um definitely the striper uh migration run is coming soon and i think it's going to be a good one guys if you're trying to locate and catch uh decent size or just keeper striper i would definitely try uh the delta right now because they're uh they're headed that way they're migrating that way right now and the bay if you have a boat go do some trolling in the bay uh san francisco bay is really good right now uh, if you could troll some some like live anchovies or something like that uh you're gonna kill the striper uh and halibut's doing really good out there but that's that's kind of where uh the striper are bunched up right now um delta in the bay so uh we're just waiting on this water temperature to change here and uh this migration will uh this migration fall run will get them running and pushing them back into the sacramento river um to where we can just catch them on the bank a little bit of how much the water dropped it's right here right now and i used to fish when the water was high i fish right here <laughs> So you can see how much, you know, I'm standing right here. You can see how much the water has went down. That's, that's, uh, that's quite a bit there. So what I like to do guys is always, uh, mark your area when the water drops down like this, just in case it gets really high again, kind of mark your area, see where the weeds are, see where the pumps are, see where the holes are, and just kind of make a mental note. And also, I like to walk, you know, walk the bank where the water's been high and just look around for stuff. And you might find stuff. I found fishing poles, found a bunch of lures, and it looks like I found a bell today. But yeah, it's always good to take mental notes, guys. And, uh, and the bank's pretty cool. It, it marks for us. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Whoa. But... You can see the the edges right there that's telling you where the water the water marker those are water markers right there on the side of the bank and uh just showing you the water levels uh which is pretty cool see see all the way it was all the way right there to that marker and now look at it one two three four five six seven eight about eight markers and now it's down to there so uh pretty crazy just it's good to take mental notes that way uh you know what, what you're fishing at.